Another Norfolk-based crew is heading to the Eastern Mediterranean as the war between Israel and Hamas continues. The Pentagon announced that the USS Bataan Amphibious Ready Group carrying Navy sailors and Marines is shipping off to the Middle East. It consists of three ships, Amphibious Assault Ship USS Bataan, Amphibious Transport Dock USS Mesa Verde, and Amphibious Dock Landing Ship USS Carter Hall. The USS Bataan is an amphibious assault ship of the United States Navy and it stands as a testament to the greatness that can be achieved in naval engineering, military strategy, and the commitment of the men and women who serve on this remarkable vessel. A U.S. official said the USS Mesa Verde is currently in the Mediterranean Sea, while the Bataan and the USS Carter Hall were in the Gulf region and are now heading toward the Red Sea. The group will join the USS Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group and the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower Carrier Strike Group, who were both ordered to the Eastern Mediterranean this week. The Eisenhower CSG was already scheduled for deployment prior to Hamas's attacks on Israel, although Navy officials did not say where the fleet was originally supposed to be stationed. It deployed Saturday. In a release Saturday evening, Austin said the Eisenhower CSG would be joining the Ford CSG in an effort to deter hostile actions against Israel or any efforts toward widening this war following Hamas's attack on Israel. The building display of power reflects U.S. concern that the violence between Hamas and Israel will escalate into wider regional conflict. The nation is aiming to establish a large and visible presence that will deter Hezbollah, Iran, or others from taking advantage of the situation. The USS Bataan, named in honor of the Battle of Bataan during World War II, was commissioned on September 20, 1997. The ship belongs to the WASP class of amphibious assault ships designed to serve as a multi-purpose vessel capable of supporting a wide range of military operations. These ships are often referred to as Gator freighters due to their versatility in carrying and deploying Marines and their equipment in support of various missions. The USS Bataan has a length of 844 feet and a beam of 106 feet. It boasts a displacement of approximately 40,500 tons and can accommodate a crew of over 1,000 sailors and marines. This colossal vessel is a true marvel of engineering, designed to fulfill a multitude of roles in support of U.S. military operations. One of the USS Bataan's most notable features is its flight deck, which can accommodate a wide array of aircraft, including AV-8B Harriers, MV-22 Osprey Tilt Trotter aircraft, CH-53E Super Stallion helicopters, and various other fixed-wing and rotary-wing aircraft. This extensive air wing complements the ship's primary mission of supporting Marine Corps Expeditionary Forces. The USS Bataan is the embodiment of naval might in amphibious warfare. With its large flight deck and well deck, it can operate both fixed-wing aircraft and amphibious assault vehicles. These capabilities make it a crucial asset in projecting power ashore and supporting amphibious operations. The well deck is a flooded compartment at the stern of the ship that can launch and recover amphibious vehicles and landing craft. This feature allows the ship to transport and deploy marines, their equipment, and supplies directly to the shore. It can accommodate a variety of landing craft, such as LKCs, landing craft air cushion and LCUs, landing craft utility, making it a vital component of amphibious assault operations. The USS Bataan is capable of launching and recovering a wide range of aircraft, including the MV-22 Osprey, which can tilt its rotors to take off and land vertically like a helicopter and then transition to airplane mode for greater speed and range. 
The presence of Harrier jump jets further enhances the ship's air combat capabilities. The ship is equipped with advanced communication and command facilities, making it suitable for serving as a command and control center during complex military operations. This capability enhances coordination between different elements of a Marine Air Ground Task Force and other allied forces. The USS Bataan has not only demonstrated its military prowess, but has also shown its greatness through its humanitarian efforts. This versatile vessel has been deployed on various humanitarian missions, showcasing the compassionate side of American military power. The USS Bataan regularly participates in joint and allied exercises, reinforcing the capabilities and interoperability of U.S. and partner nations' military forces. These exercises serve to enhance readiness and strengthen international relationships. The USS Bataan's participation in these operations and exercises exemplifies its role as a symbol of U.S. military power projection, strategic mobility, and global reach. Its presence on the world stage reflects the greatness of the United States Navy and its commitment to ensuring peace and stability. While the USS Bataan is an impressive piece of naval engineering, it is the dedicated and skilled men and women who serve on board that truly make the ship great. The crew of the USS Bataan comprises a diverse group of professionals, including sailors, marines, aviators, medical personnel, and support staff. The ship's sailors are responsible for operating and maintaining the vessel. They ensure that the ship's systems and equipment function effectively, from the propulsion systems to the navigation and communication systems. The USS Bataan typically carries a Marine Expeditionary Unit, consisting of Marines and their equipment. These highly trained individuals are ready to be deployed ashore for a variety of missions, from combat operations to humanitarian assistance.